it feels like you have a ball and chain, except instead of it being around your ankle, it's around your neck and pulling your head down. If you can just picture what it would feel like to have that ball, but the chain's not long enough to go all the way to the ground. It's just hanging there. It's in every part of your life. That's that's how depression works. You can't. You just can't get away from it. I was much longer to realize it than Lara was. Um, she saw it early on, and she would talk to me about needing to get help, and and I just didn't see it. I just didn't know that I had it. It's hard to explain really how big the effect on relationships is because it's it's huge and that's really an understatement but when you're in it when i was in it and hadn't recognized it i didn't see it at all and so lara spent years feeling alone and and disconnected from me it would shut me down emotionally and um, verbally, you know, my communication was horrible during those years just because I I dealt with it by going inside myself. It was everything I could do to just keep going. And I remember we were doing a project down in Texas and sometimes I'd be there alone and I would just I would just lay down on the floor wherever it was and just go to sleep because I just couldn't I just couldn't keep going thankfully Laura was patient enough and kind enough and she loved me enough to fight through it with me I was at home and my daughter and my son just out of the blue showed up at our door and they just started talking to me about my depression and how it was affecting my marriage and how it was affecting my relationship with them and I just remember being so shocked that they had felt there was a great enough need to come and talk to me about it. But I just imagined the mental acrobatics that they went through to work up the courage to talk to their father about depression and that he needed to get help. I went back to the doctor. We had a genetic test done to try to find a medication that would be more suitable for my metabolism. And we found one on the very first try. And, and a month later, I was whistling at work and feeling great. I started noticing how blue the sky was and how pretty the mountains were. And it was kind of like my life went from I was looking through a camera lens that was out of focus. And when my medicine kicked in, it was like putting the camera into focus. And all of a sudden, my whole life was a sharp, colorful, vibrant image. It was shocking, actually, to feel that way and to realize I could have been feeling that way my whole life if I had gotten help. That was about a year ago, and I'm certain that without them showing up at my door that day, I would still be suffering from depression. And I, I can't see that son and that daughter ever without just feeling so grateful to them. It changed my life, and I hope that if anybody has a friend or a family member or a spouse or a child that's suffering 
depression like I was, that they will have the courage to intervene. Well, the plain description for what I do is I'm a general contractor. I like to say I take old houses and I transform them into beautiful places for families. My home is not a highway, a straight road to follow. Before going to work, it was always a struggle, but now that I feel normal, it's, I, I love my work. Lara and I, she does the design and we work together on that and we, we get a new project and we hammer things out and, and we just take these old broken down houses and change them into something beautiful and it's super fun. It's about taking something that's broken down and being able to visualize what it can be, what the potential is, and the same thing is with people. Whether you're suffering from depression or negative thought patterns or whatever it is, sometimes it takes somebody that can see how it can be to pick you up and, and help you become that person. And maybe that's what we love so much about it. It's, it's seeing something the way it can be and not the way it is, and then going through the process to make it become that. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Just go get help with this, because you can't muscle through it. The faster you recognize what you're dealing with and accept it, as part of your life and get help for it, the sooner you can live a normal life. I'm